It is the 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We have this parable about this big wedding banquet, and then there are those at the banquet who don't have the wedding garment. What is meant by this wedding garment? I'm going to go ahead and ask St. Gregory the Great. He seems like a good person to ask. He says that it couldn't be baptism or faith because everybody who's at the wedding has these things. What then must we understand by the wedding garment but love, says St. Gregory. That person enters the marriage feast, but without wearing a wedding garment, who is present in the Holy Church, he may have faith, but he does not have love. We are correct when we say that love is the wedding garment, because this is what our Creator himself possessed when he came to the marriage feast to join the church to himself. Only God's love brought it about that his only begotten Son united the hearts of his chosen to himself. This is basically what our Holy Mass is today, as we come to Mass to represent the one sacrifice, the crucifixion that Jesus gave us, this amazing, incredible act of love. And Jesus says, if you are not united to my love, which how can we unite to this love? We can pray. We can receive the Eucharist at Sunday Mass. We can become Jesus, who is love, by receiving Jesus, who is love. If we are missing this part of love, even if we believe, even if we are baptized, it is not enough for us to be at this great wedding banquet, which the Mass is a foreshadowing of the ultimate wedding banquet, which is heaven, we must have love. We must have this virtue of charity. So today, let us put love in our hearts. Let us allow the Lord in his Holy Communion to put love in our hearts. Happy 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time.